can you go to jail for drink driving in Ireland? Conceivably, in theory, yes you can, uh, but in practical reality, if it's your first time coming to court for a drink driving offence, which it is for most people, then it's almost certainly not the case that you will, re that you will receive a custodial sentence. The custodial element is there, as it is for every offence, uh, but it's only really used for people who commit drink driving a second or third or fourth time. Uh, for those people, there is obviously an enhanced risk of custody. But if it's your first time coming to court for drink driving, it's almost certainly the case that you will not uh, be sent to prison or anything like that. Drink driving cases dismissed. Uh, yeah, that's an interesting one. The, one of the, I suppose, the, the main way that we imagine in our own heads a case being dismissed is where the evidence is heard from the prosecution, the evidence is heard from the, from the defence, and the judge finds that the uh, evidence of the prosecution wasn't compelling enough and, and strikes the case out. That's the view most people have. But there's other reasons why a, a case might be, be dismissed. Yes, the prosecution evidence might be very strong or the judge might have a doubt about the prosecution evidence, but there's other, way, other ways too where a case might be dismissed. Maybe the case was fixed for hearing and a vital piece of documentary evidence goes missing or is not in court. A uh, vital piece of evidence wasn't given to the court, uh, said in, in testimony, or a witness, a vital witness may not have turned up to court and any one of those things can trigger an automatic um, strike out of the case if one of those things is seen by the court to be a very vital aspect of the prosecution case. So there's many different ways why a case might be dismissed. Is drink driving an automatic ban? I'm afraid so, yes it is. Um, if you plead guilty to drink driving or if you're found guilty of drink driving, you will be disqualified. Um, it's got nothing to do with your circumstances, it's because the law is very clear if you're found guilty or if you plead guilty, the judge must disqualify you. They have no choice but to do it and uh, they must put you off the road. The length of the disqualification then very much depends on uh, how much over the limit you were. Uh, it, the disqualification, whether it comes in or not, has nothing to do with your circumstances, whether you need a car for work or anything like that. It's automatic. That means it's mandatory. So if you're found guilty or if you plead guilty, I'm afraid you will be disqualified from driving, yes. How to appeal a drink driving ban in Ireland? Well, if you've been found guilty by the district court of drink driving, uh, you can then at that point in court um, file a notice of appeal. You can appeal the disqualification decision by the district court there and then in court. And when the proper appeal papers are filled out and properly lodged, you'll get a copy back from the court clerk and that will uh, indicate that your appeal is lodged. You're entitled to drive during that period until the appeal comes up, but the appeal is held now in the circuit court, which is a higher court and they will rehear the case all over again from start to finish. Um, and if you're successful then, uh, then your appeal will be successful and the disqualification will be removed, obviously. Uh, but if it's not successful, then the, the decision of the lower court will remain. That's uh, how an appeal works in drink driving cases. Can I have one drink and drive? Um, there is no easy answer to that question um, because we're all different, one person to the next, and our ability uh, to metabolize alcohol is different from one person to the next and in fact it's different between one day and the next involving the same person. What may tip your mother over the limit may not tip you over the limit because you're younger, maybe you're in better physical condition, maybe you've uh, slept well last night or better last night, maybe you've eaten more today and things like that. All these factors all combine to uh, assist your um, metabolism to metabolize alcohol quicker um, and in fact what may tip you over the limit today uh, same amount of alcohol tomorrow may not. Uh, so it's, it's different between people but it's also different between a person giving one day to the next to the next. So there's no easy answer and there's no uh, scientific answer. I wish there was but unfortunately there isn't.